Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Devupal. In this video, I am going to discuss about what is distributed transactions and what's the uses of these distributed transactions. So I'll start from the introductions of the distributed transactions and later point of time I will discuss about how to achieve the distributed transactions in microservices architecture. But if you are new in my YouTube channel, I'll suggest just subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for the regular update. Now coming back to our main discussions area. What is distributed transactions? This is a very important question as a microservice developer. Means if you are working as a backend developer. So now we need to understand the monolithic architecture as well as the microservice architecture. So let's understand with a monolithic architecture. So in a simple word, where every functionality of that particular applications is co uh, composed in a one app or jar files or you can say war file. So this is a kind of a monolithic architecture. So if I give you example, let's uh, assume some e-commerce website, Flipkart or Amazon. So now customer login, then customer placing the orders, then customer uh, doing the payments and then uh, after successful transactions, customer getting the notifications, payment done and then order tracking, right? Shipping and order tracking, all those functionalities are put in a one particular jar or OR. So that is monolithic. And now when comes to that microservices architecture, so that time that whole e-commerce applications has been divided into uh, independent uh, small uh, services this is called as a microservices like there is a customer service there is a order service there is a inventory service there is a notification service so each and every service is independently responsible for certain uh, tasks right so now this is the major concept of the distributed con now so from this monolithic to this microservice convert architecture that time this distributed transactions concept will come so now what happened so now you have a monolithic architecture and you are placing any orders just uh, check this diagram so customer search order place the order so now first of all it will initiate a one transaction and it will update that particular customer table in that database. Now after it will update the order table in that particular database and then finally that commit will be happen that transactions and then customer will get the notifications. Okay, so I have placed that order successfully. So that is means you can see so one database okay having a multiple table and that multiple tables are updating in a single activity by the user. Single activity by the user means user is trying to put the orders. So in that case, one is user table will update, second is order table is update and might be if there is a third party shipping company is connected then also there should be trigger another uh, database transaction. So that is means if any point of time let's assume that unable to update that order table then this will be rollback the entire data which will be going to be commit in the multiple table in the database which will be rollback so that is means we are getting the functionality of acid properties like what we know like a atomicity consistency isolations and durability so that's the things we are getting for the monolithic architecture but when any monolithic applications or architecture is going to be break into microservices architecture so now what happens so you just segregated microservices uh, architecture that is means customer service inventory service, order service, notification service, shipping service, everything you break down and you are completely re redesigning your monolithic architecture to microservice architecture. Now in this case also your transaction has to be break means in that case there was a one global database 
which will be storing all the tables data but in that case customer related data should be a one database order related data should be another database and inventory related data should be another database so nothing but a, this database is local to that particular microservices and now all the transactions so earlier we have seen customer table then order table all the transactions are distributed into a local db of that particular microservices this is called as distributed transactions okay this is called a distributed transaction and this case mainly happen when we are trying to decompose uh, any monolithic architecture to microservices architecture now we have understand what is distributed transactions but in the distributed transactions as i mentions like what we need to be consider we need to consider similarly if there is a any point of time like uh, payment not done so that is means that order cannot be placed and that whatever update in by the customer microservice that data in that customer table has to be rolled back right so we need to maintain that atomicity so what does it mean by atomicity atomicity means either all the transactions should be committed or it should be roll back means there should not be any intermediate stage either it should be done or it should be roll back to the earlier stage so now in that scenarios it would be difficult to maintain that atomicity in the distributed transactions now let's let me describe how we can maintain that atomicity or you know transactions is a more consistency in the distributed transactions as i was discussing the problem right so you can see there was a breakdown customer microservices order microservices now customer trying to make a order so it will update that customer uh, microservices fund and then it will create the orders in that order microservices now in that case if that will fail then also we need to notify the the customer microservices hey boss this uh, order cannot be placed can you just uh, roll back that whatever you updated in the customer fund so that was the problem i was talking in the distributed transactions now the solutions okay distributed transaction solutions there is a two uh, i mean well known solutions is there one is two pc and another is saga so in the interview also you can expect some of the interviewer can ask like can you explain that two pc uh, design pattern or saga design pattern so let me give you just little bit overview of the two pc uh, design pattern and i'll create a separate video related to saga and two pc okay so let's focus on 2pc so what does it mean by 2pc so 2pc means so you can understand two okay p means phase and c for commit means there is a two phase commit that particular scenarios that's what it is called a 2pc implementations so in the 2pc implementations what are the terms we need to uh, remember one is ppr and another is commit so there is a first phase we are calling as a ppr and second phase we are calling as a commit now in the first phase what will be happen so there is a one coordinator is there so you can uh, i mean uh, say like a manager transactions manager so this coordinator what it is doing it will asking all the microservices where the data needs to be update okay so let's assume customer microservices in our example and order microservices okay it is sending the notifications boss you need to prepare okay for the transactions so now once that both microservices send the acknowledgments to the coordinator or manager so okay preparations done so then coordinator will ask okay commit that both transactions okay so now it will be getting a notifications okay so done and then end the transactions now assume so this is kind of a very consistent protocol and this is very highly secure consistency protocol because either all the transaction should be done in uh, distributed transactions or might be a rollback 
because first of all preparations is done and second is commit is done okay now let's assume what is happening so in that case when customer microservices is preparing so there is some failure okay so that is means it's not get the acknowledgement so after a uh, certain point of time it will initiate the rollback okay to asking both microservices please roll back that the transactions now this process is a kind of a sequential process first of all sending the notifications to every microservices then microservices sending prepared and then it is sending the commit uh, that uh, notifications and then it is coming done and then end the transaction so there is a lots of time needed because it's a kind of a blocking transactions okay in a simple word we can say it's a synchronous pattern right to face commit now to overcome these challenges we have another pattern that is called saga pattern now this is the major disadvantage of the 2 pc co commit but it is very rarely used i'll not say it is not used in the microservices architecture it is used but it is rarely used but based on your scenarios and to overcome this one the saga pattern came and this is a completely asynchronous uh, transactions facility a uh, provider so i'll discuss in a separate video what is saga pattern and how it's work okay so hope you understand what is distributed transactions and what's the problem was there in monolithic uh, with a global database transactions and how we can solve with the help of two pc that design pattern so that's all in this video still if you have any doubt just let me know in the comment sections as usual always you will be getting the informations in my description sections and don't forget to hit the like button i'll see you in next video bye bye